surprise midweek unboxing. Uh, we were a week behind because of lockdown, so now we're caught up. This is the box for this week. Tuesday's was the box for last week. Next week we'll have just one box. So we're gonna dive in. We have a DVD. This is called The Assistant, starring Julia Garner and Matthew McFadden. I don't know anything about it, but it looks gritty. Discrimination by a thousand paper cuts. It speaks volumes, says Rolling Stone. And then, oh, another copy of Bad Boys for Life. Got this in the last box. You can never have too much Will Smith, I think is, is the case that we're making. Some kids DVDs. And then Ordinary Love, starring Leslie Manville and Liam Neeson. I know nothing about it, but The Observer gave it five stars. And then more kids DVDs. Some audiobooks. Emily Giffen's The Lies That Bind. And Danielle Steele, The Wedding Dress. And then on to the books. We have, ooh, A Murder She Wrote, Murder of Twelve, Jessica Fletcher and John Land. Impressive that Jessica Fletcher is still writing, since he's a fictional character. And then Burn by Patrick Ness. If you guys don't know Patrick Ness, he writes fantastic books. This might be JF, but it might also be Young Adult, and I don't have my list, so we'll see. But I'm all about Patrick Ness, I recommend. And then Large Print, A Fair Warning by Michael Connolly. Exciting. And then we have Hard Cash Valley by Brian Panovich. I don't know anything about him. But he also wrote Bull Mountain and Lake Lions. Shall we see what it's about? Well, it's fiction. Set in Florida. Dale Brown, Eagle Station. Always a good read. The Split by Sharon Bolton. Good cover. The Huffington Post says Bolton rules the world of psychological thrillers. The Summer Deal by Jill Salvis. Some good summer reading going on here. And then Jennifer Chiaverni, Verini, the Lincoln, Mrs. Lincoln's Sisters. And she wrote The Resistance Women. She writes some really good historical fiction. And we have a physical copy of Emily Giffen's Eliza Bind. Ooh, good author photo. Look at her. Fabulous. Then Alex George, The Paris House. Great cover. Lots of advanced praise on the back for it. And we have a large print of Mrs. Lincoln's Sisters. And a large print of Eagle Station. And a large print of Jeffrey Deaver's The Goodbye Man. Ooh, this will have lots of holes on it. And a tiny little Jeffrey Deaver in the woods, looking all mysterious. Oh, we're almost there, guys. This is The Grim Reader by Kate Carlisle. God, I love a cozy mystery and their hilarious titles. And that cat is reading that book. Kids book, kids book. I think this might be the last one. It might be why it might not be. It's called Recipe per for Persuasion by Sonali Dev who wrote Pride, Prejudice, and Other Flavors. Okay, that's all of them. Don't forget to place your holds. We're doing curbside pickup. We're here if you need us, give us a call, send us an email. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon.